Hey everyone. To be honest, I have been a little bit worried, but I have some good news for everyone. So I just drove my dad's Toyota to the end of the pasture. I've been concerned about Fred and I just wanted to come check this fence and see if anyone was around. And I actually spotted the horses coming down the hill right behind me here. And you're not gonna guess who I saw in the front. crazy old mule. It's all Fred. He's alive. That little mule. I don't know where he was, but he's totally fine. The horses are making their way to the water right now, so I'm going to get in the Toyota and drive back to water and check on everyone. We got a few more stragglers coming down the hill. I'll turn the camera around and show you them making their way down. Mm -hmm. So I just drove up and I saw some horses coming down the hill. This is where they come down on their own and where I showed you we came, went up the other day. So everyone's waking, making their way down. The other ones, they didn't see me and I saw them take off. They're just headed to water. I can kind of see them that way, headed to water. So they know where they're going. We got the stragglers going, I think. I think that's Peanut. I know that's Cheeks in the back. Then we got, looks like Nelly right there. And Carrot Cake and the babies up there. I think that's Shorty right there too. There's Nelly. So this is pretty awesome just to watch them go down on their own. This is why we love this pasture so much because they turn into little mountain goat horses. Okay, so I saw all the other horses head for water. I'm gonna turn the Toyota around and head that way. And if I could actually get out of the pasture before they get there, that would be best. So I'm not trying to open the gate by myself and get the Toyota out, but let's head to water. Okay, I got the Toyota turned around, had to back up a ways, but we're gonna go back to water so we can check on everyone. but if I can squeeze past them, I'm gonna try to because I need to get to the water before them so that I can get out without trying to get out with 18 horses. And look at who's right there. Fred, I looked all over for you the other day. We're doing some mad dash speeding in the Toyota, one-handed filming and one-handed stick shift changes. We gotta get out before the horses follow me. They're chasing me. I can see them back there. Okay, I couldn't video that part. I made it. I barely got the Toyota out before everyone ran up. But now that I got it, let's check on everyone. Especially for him. They must have been up top and got pretty thirsty because they're all acting like they really want a drink. <laughs> Hi everyone. You guys a little thirsty? They're all so pretty. Now where's Fred? Hey, bringing up the rear. I'm so relieved. We got weather coming in. I just really wanted to come today and make sure 
Fred was with the rest of them. I just had icky feelings about it and I had to come make sure he was okay. I wanted to make sure we didn't lock him out on the other side of the gate or something, but we've had Fred for a long time. We gotta, gotta come check on the old guy. Well, hello, Fred. You bringing up the rear with old Miss Nellie and Blue Jean? You were supposed to get your teeth done the other day. Did you hear that the dentist was coming? You little rascal. Fred, I am so happy to see you, but I am so mad at you. You weren't supposed to get your teeth done the other day. Yeah, the dentist came just for you. <laughs> you sweet boy. Go get a drink. Hi, Bones. How are you doing? I actually forgot cookies, I'm sorry. But I'll give you rubbins. I'll give you a good old ear scratch if you like that. Oh, Peanut, you ain't doing your ear scratches, you sweet girl. I'll give you some ear scratches. Hi, Chester Cheekers. I don't have any cookies, but I'll give you some ear scratches too. Whoa. Be nice, Sage. Hi, Titan. Everyone likes you, Titan. I think you're so pretty. And Sage. Hi, Bones. All right, let's go check on everyone else. Hankers, my man. You're looking great. Be nice, Bones. Come here, Lollipop. I'll give you some lovings. Hey, okay, Lollipop. You pretty baby, too. Hi, Carrot Cake. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, bye, you. Sage, be nice to everyone. You're being angry. Hi, Garth. How's my old Garth doing? We got Nelly, Poppy Seed, Blue Jean, Fred. You're kind of in trouble, but I'm very so happy to see you. Charlie Brown, Lollipop, Bones, Sage. Can't forget about Shorty. Let's show everyone your newly trimmed tail. No more tail bags in the pasture. Now you got a short tail because I cut some of it off, huh? You still are handsome, huh? You're still so handsome. I want you, shorty. I want you too, poppy seed. You're a pretty girl, huh? Yes, you're so precious. This is my therapy. Coming and getting horse snuggles. And kisses. Whoa! Oh, Poppy C, do you want some more cuddles? We love each other. <laughs> and Shorty Boy. Hey, why are you, Shorty? Mm. Hey, Hankers, you like some cuddles to Hankers? Mm. Wait, why are you Hankers? Oh, and then we got whole carrot cake. You want some back scratches, carrot cake? Hi, Poppy C. I didn't forget about you. Hi, Charlie Brown. Say hello, Charlie Brown. Hello. Hello, handsome boy. What do you want, huh? Fred, we missed you the other day. Yes, and I have no cookies for you now because you missed us when I had cookies. Where were you? You didn't want your teeth done? You need to have your teeth done. It will help you put some weight on. 
Not that Fred's skinny or anything, but he's gotten older and he's never got his teeth done, so we want to have the dentist come do them and help him kind of fill up in this area some more, you know. He is getting older, so some of that comes with age, but got to help you, huh? Please don't do that to me again, okay? When I come look for you, don't be missing because you had me worried something bad happened. You had all of us worried. Yes. We were so worried, Fred. We would miss you so much. Are these flies annoying you? Oh, get them. Oh, get them for you. Fred looks fine. No cuts or scrapes. I don't know how you do it, but you manage to just do whatever you want, huh? You're a good old mule, huh? We love you, Fred. Don't give us any more scares, okay? You goofy old mule. We'd be sad. Bones is being very lovey today. She wants all my scratches, huh? Are you saying hi to everyone on YouTube? Say hi! Oh, you pretty girl, when I get more time, me and you are gonna be roping. Huh. <laughs> oh, you pretty girl. Okay, let's go check on everyone else, too. Everyone else looks good and happy, too. I think it's fixing to rain, so I should probably get the Toyota out of here before it turns into a mud mess. I just like to come say hi to everyone and give them some scratches. <laughs> oh, you cute little baby, huh? Hi, Peanut. You're a good girl, too, huh? You want some scratches? Good girl. Papa Jean, you love scratches, huh? You just love getting your ears rubbed. Good girl. You got an itchy spot you want me to get, huh? It says everywhere, please. Everywhere, please. I love Poppy Seed's legs. She's got cool tiger stripes. And the line down her back, too. She's a cool color. Oh, hi, Butters. You're beautiful, too. Do you want some scratches, too? Oh, okay. Not really, I guess. Carrot cake. She is a quarter horse, but she does have a little white splash under her. So technically, I could register, register her as a paint also. Even though both of her parents are quarter horses. Shorty, are you hanging out with boss man Garth? Oh, you heard me talk about you, huh? <laughs> Goodbye, Fred. Have fun. Would you like some scratches, Titan? Oh, yeah. We've been pretty busy, so Titan hasn't had to, hasn't gotten to be used very much since his massage. But I think being turned out was good for him because he's had to use his muscles, learn how to use his feet, and he's gotten back to a healthier weight. Oh, pretty blue jean. I don't know if I said hi to you yet. Come here, baby. Let me give you some scratches. Oh. Oh, yes, pretty girl, huh? Good girl. These are the three yearlings. They all um, pretty much hang out together. Hi, Sage. Do you want some scratches too? 
Yeah. So you're just kind of the boss man. Kind of him and Garth. They kind of battle it out sometimes. Okay, goodbye guys. I love everyone. We'll see you later. Be good boys and girls. They got a drink. They got their fill. They might head back up the hill. Who knows? <laughs> well, look. Some of them are ro rolling in the nice sandy stuff down there. Oh yeah, she likes that. We got Titan rolling too. I think in the summertime, maybe someone else will know this better than me, but I think they kind of like to roll and use this dirt as protection from the flies. I notice them rolling quite a bit more in the summertime. Titan's got a scratch on his belly. <laughs> He's getting his itch. Okay, I'm headed out. See everyone next time. Had to come check on him and make sure Fred was okay. He had me a little worried there. On a side note... I have not seen feed this good in Flagstaff in a long time. This is grandma grass. It's very high in protein. It's a, even when it's old feed, it's good feed. And we've got lots of it because of all this rain. So this pasture is the first pat, we call it pasture one, and that's canyon pasture two but we rotate every year which one they use so that we can save the feed. This is my dad's old Yoda that I kind of use to beat up sometimes. <laughs> Me and the Yoda are gonna make it back up the hill now before it rains. Okay, we're making our way out of the canyon. Um, Fred does still need to get his teeth done, so we're gonna come down maybe in a couple days and just grab him and take him to the house to leave him there so that the next time our farrier slash equine dentist is in town, he can just stop by and do Fred and we don't have to worry about him somehow finding out that the dentist is in town and hiding from us. I guess Fred just didn't want his teeth done. And now I have to go up the really scary hill in the Toyota. Let's do this. This is a really steep hill. I think it's almost easier just to ride horses. I couldn't stop on the hill because this is so steep. You gotta keep moving. The Toyota made it up it like a champ, but I'm walking down to shut the gate now. And I made it out of the pasture just in time because a storm is coming. I can hear thunder, so we need to get this shut and get home. <laughs> this is the hill we gotta go up and down to get into the canyon. And it might not look like much, but it'll put a vehicle to the test. And you got to have something that's lightweight and can climb hills. That's why we usually just ride horses down here. I guess we could get a quad, but right now we don't have a very trustworthy quad. Okay, the shut. Okay, we're good. Got the gate shut. Horses are all good. I feel much better now. So make sure to stay tuned because Fred does still need to have his teeth done. And that was the whole point of the video. I was going to show you guys what it looks like to have an equine dentist do a horse's teeth. But we'll have to reschedule with him whenever he has a chance to come out. I will make sure to video it for you guys so we can learn a little bit more about the horse mouth. And stay tuned to see how Fred will adjust to having his teeth worked on. Thank you guys. When I said the rain was coming, I meant it. I was driving home, I had to pull over because I cannot see right now.